Hi everyone, I'm sorry it took a couple days off not posting math videos. The first day of school was last Monday and I just needed the time to prepare my classroom for the new incoming ninth graders. I did miss posting math videos for you all and also reading all your fun comments. And I just wanna say thank you all for sticking around and watching my math videos and giving me great feedback. Uh, now with that said, all right, Math Legends, let's see if you can solve this math problem before I do. Now, you know the drill. If you know the answer, let me know in the comment section down below. And also, please subscribe to support this channel and also get more challenges like this one. We have one times and then we have three divided by two inside these parentheses. And I'm thinking of PAMDAS to start solving this problem. So according to PAMDAS, you start within the parentheses. So we, we do three divided by two first. So I am going to write this as a fraction. And then I'll bring down the multiplication symbol down and the one down. And I want to turn the one into a fraction. So it's one over one equals one, does not change the one. And then you just multiply across one times one times three is three. One times two is two. And this cannot be broken down further. So this is it. This is an improper fraction. Now let's get a mixed number and a decimal answer as well. So let's start with the um, mixed number. So we'll use long division here. So this can be the answer. I mean, it is the answer. So I box that up three over two, or you can have it as a mixed number, or you can have it as a decimal answer. So we got one of the three. Now let's go ahead and use long division to solve the mixed number and then the decimal answer. So three is the dividend, two is the divisor. And so how many times can two fit into three? One times, one time, and then one times two equals two. And you subtract three minus two is one. Now, can you fit two into one? You cannot, so we need to borrow zero. So I add a decimal after the three and after the one. So now I bring down the zero, give it to the one, it becomes 10. Now, how many times can two fit into 10? Five times. And so five times two is 10. And so 10 minus 10, is zero so your mixed number answer will be that one that's the whole and then the remainder one here and then the two as the denominator so it's one half or 1.5 this is your decimal answer 1.5 and there you go